Hello everyone, Hyper here, and we've just had the first WoW panel from BlizzCon. Earlier today, we obviously had the next expansion announcement, which is going to be Shadowlands. And I'm super excited for it, the cinematic was absolutely awesome. But you guys know me, what I'm interested in is the gameplay and the systems. As long as the story's halfway decent, I'm okay with it, but to me, the gameplay is what makes or breaks the game. So we had the first panel where they kind of introduced each of these systems and tomorrow we're going to have another panel where they take a deep dive into each of them but I just wanted to give you kind of an introduction of what direction they're heading in with this new expansion. Right, before I talk about any of the systems that are changing I wanted to mention one thing. AP is gone. We will still have world quests uh, in some form or the other because Ian used them as an example for leveling your character and they're also planning on making everything a lot more alt friendly uh, from being able to start your end game progression be that you know talents or any of the new systems that they're adding they want you to be able to start it on alt characters as soon as you hit that level 50 mark so the level 50 to level 60 you're going to be able to work on your end game progress as you're leveling so that's super cool to see now, I don't know what the AP system will be replaced with. Uh, they need some sort of way to keep everyone playing the game uh, from day to day. Uh, I really hope that the new system will be a little bit more forgiving. They haven't mentioned anything about this. They just mentioned that AP is gone. So we'll see how that goes. The general sentiment that I got from what Ian was saying is that they quite like a lot of the systems that they had back in Legion and even some of the systems that they added in BFA but they don't like how RNG they are. So with pretty much everything that they covered they said that it's going to be like it used to be but less RNG. Like with the weekly loot boxes for example, legendaries, I'll talk a little bit more about each one of these uh, individually. But a lot of the previous systems are going to be coming back or are going to be continuing into next expansion, except that it's going to be less RNG. So the first new system that they're adding are Covenants. And there's four total zones in the new expansion and each zone is going to have a Covenant. Now whenever you choose a Covenant, um, I assume you're going to be doing this on your main character whenever you reach max level, which is going to be level 60. You get to choose a covenant and then that covenant has two unique abilities and each of the covenants as far as i'm aware has unique abilities um, so out of those two abilities one will be covenant wide so everyone who chooses that covenant will get that ability uh, for example um, everyone will just get an aoe spell that's like a two minute cooldown or something and you can all use it and you all have the same ability think of it kind of like an essence and then uh, everyone will get a unique ability based on their class. The two that they showed as an example, they seem like you're just getting extra cooldowns. You'll get a general cooldown and you'll get a class specific cooldown. So out of the eight total, since there are four covenants, you will get to choose two. Now, I don't know what the system is going to be like exactly. They haven't really talked about it too much in detail. Are you going to be able to kind of reroll whenever you want? Uh, do you, do you, is there some sort of system to ensure that you're able to switch? Like maybe one boss, one covenant ability is best, other boss, other covenant abilities are better. So I'm not exactly sure what direction they're going in with that. But it's a good introductory idea to kind of get some new abilities into the game. Uh, as far as dungeons and raids go, we're getting eight new dungeons, four through leveling, four at max level. That's fairly straightforward. We are getting a new kind of mega dungeon that's supposed to be like, you can grind it as much as you want, which is called Torghast. And you can either do it solo or with up to four other players. So next patch in 8.3, we're actually getting a very similar system. And I believe that's what's going to be the test of how people feel about this for next expansion uh, with the Stormwind and the Orgrimmar scenarios. So basically it's going to be procedurally generated it's going to be ever-changing. I don't know if they're going to have like affixes or whatnot, but it's going to come with a talent tree where you get permanent upgrades the more you do it. So each time you do it, you will get slightly more powerful. Um, and they will also have a unique bonus or a unique choice every time you start one by the, by the way they made it sound. Um, and this is going to be the anime choice. 
So they showed three examples, all for shamans. Uh, there was one that increased your crit bonus. There was one that changed your lava shock to be like infinite duration. And there was one that made your flame elemental. I, I don't remember what it's called. But it made them permanent, but you could no longer use frost spells. So I assume every time you start one of these runs, you will get to make those choices. Um, and maybe the higher you go down in their little talent tree, the more choices you will get to kind of... Uh, bolster your abilities. So those are kind of the new systems that are coming. But what I really want to focus on is what they're changing from the systems that we have now. Because like I said, they think that a lot of the systems are actually quite good, but they just need a little tweaking to be improved. So the first thing that they talk about is professions. So in BFA, professions were absolutely awful because you needed to roll multiple times until you got the right stats. You would be re-rolling professions constantly up to last patch. Um, I really hope they address some of the cost issues where crafting a ring for jewel crafting costs about as much as crafting some pants about 30 times. Uh, but they want to make it less RNG, and the example they used is that if you want crit and haste on what, a piece that you're crafting, you can add these little crit and haste gems to it, and that's going to ensure that the item you're crafting will have those stats on it, which is a wonderful change, uh, in my opinion. The second thing that they're addressing is the weekly chest. Now, this is both the PvP weekly chest and the Mythic Plus weekly chest. And as you know, these are an absolute nightmare, and this last patch, they were absolutely irrelevant, unless you were a handful of classes that still needed um, items from Mythic Plus. So they're changing it to the Discover system from Hearthstone. So in Hearthstone, there's this Discover mechanic where you play a card, and it's just going to pop up three options, and you get to pick one of the three options. But they're doing this with loot. Um, and Ian said that they are going to have like five or six items pop up, and you just pick which one is best for you. So obviously that's a vast improvement. We're just getting an RNG piece every week, and sometimes you can go an entire raid tier on a character without getting anything that's really good for you. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about that one. The next thing that I'm a huge fan of is legendaries. And Legion legendaries I think were absolutely amazing, but everyone complained about the acquisition, obviously, because it was RNG, they were kind of hard to get, and until you hit the last raid tier, there was a chance that you still didn't have your best, your best in slot legendary, um, depending on how much you played the game. So the way they're bringing back legendaries is going to be through some sort of crafting system. And this again will be through the Torghast dungeon, so I don't know if we're going to be collecting anime power through that or, or how they're going to do it. But basically, we're going to be able to craft legendaries, and they haven't shown any so far. So we don't know if it's the Legion legendaries or something very similar to those, um, or we're going to be getting some new unique legendaries. So, so far, those system changes I'm very excited about. Um, and the last thing that they mentioned as far as systems go and class design is unpruning abilities. And there was a thread about this, um, or Ian kind of asked people what they thought about returning uh, individual abilities to classes that maybe were not very useful in every situation, but had those niche little uses where it felt good to be that one class that brought that one specific ability um, that was able to help out in some scenarios. So hopefully a lot of abilities that we saw disappear throughout the past few expansions will be coming back to the game. They also announced a ton of new character customization features from new cloaks, which I'm really psyched about because cloaks in this game have been absolutely garbage so far. Um, and if they add some cool ones, I might actually have my cloak showing in the future. To character customization, whenever you're making a character from skin tone, skin color, uh, eye color, facial expression, tattoos, piercings, you know, all that cool stuff that you're going to be able to customize uh, more in depth. And for DK specifically, um, as we know from data mined information, every single race will be able to be a death knight. So I'm really excited about this because DKs have generally felt left out from the new allied race systems and basically almost every major patch or every other major patch, they've added two new allied races. 
um, and DKs were just completely left out of that system. So that's really cool to see and I'm excited to see what those models are actually going to look like. Thanks a lot for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'm really excited to hear what you guys think of these changes. Now, tomorrow I will most likely release another video that is a little bit more in depth because we will have the deep dive panel for all these new systems and how they're changing. But I just wanted to give you a little glimpse, a little taste of what they're actually planning for the next expansion. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.